Snowby. <laughs> it's the lady in red. Little prestige GXS. Beautiful little rod. I call her the oh, lady in red. What a ten foot. Yeah, but it's a two weight, but it's delicate. It's like you get small girls, but they're still tall. I don't know if that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> But, but yeah. What do, you, what do you mean by that, yeah? I'm just saying, bro. Dig it, dig the hole. Come on, let's hear it. I'm digging my own hole, yeah. So, we're on a brand new stretch of the Small Blow River here in the Western Cape. And our aim is, obviously, to catch fish. That's obviously the biggest aim. But, what we're going to try and do in particular is fish for structure and see if we can find fish uh, under overhanging trees and uh, vegetation, bankside vegetation with the aim of showing you guys um, how to approach this kind of water and structure and if you're not confident in fishing towards structure or under trees how you can gain that confidence so that you can fish that, those areas more successfully. Yeah, luckily I brought a second fisherman, um, Chris here. He's also a second-rate um, cameraman, but um, <laughs> luckily he's here. If I fail, um, I can at least take the camera and show him how to do it, and then he can show me how to fish. I don't know. That's, that's how we work. When you hook into a branch, you just like hit it. Wham! Wham! When you hook into a fish, you pull it as hard as you can. You don't give him any leeway. I'm putting on 5x for you. I'll fish with 6x. Just think you're like an animal with this rod. I think you're just trying to uh, set me up for failure. So you catch all the fish and I don't. You can't, you can't even set up a rod. That's why I'm doing it for you. Now you complaining. Someone's got to film. Someone's got to do the real work. <laughs> <laughs> because I just broke everything off on the second post of the whole day. You spent an hour putting that thing on. It's, just, it's frustrating. Ah! I'm really stoked about this fish. Um, it just shows you when you drift the fly right under that those overhanging trees and really work it close to the bank, there's a good chance that you'll get a fish and this fish just ate the nymph right under under that overhanging branch right there. So luckily our little technique paid off and we were rewarded with this beautiful rainbow trout. A few moments later. Bro, there's a giant hole this big inside of my net. Hang on, hang on, I'll show you. You see there? So I dropped the fish in the net. I promise you I caught a fish. <laughs> I dropped the fish in the net, took the fly out, dropped it back in the net, got everything ready. She gone. This video is brought to you by Moonshine and Snowby. Today I'm fishing with a Snowby Prestige GXS 10 foot 28 and Chris is fishing with a Moonshine Epiphany 10 foot 4 inch 28. I'm also wearing the Snowby Prestige STX breathable waders. It's my first day in them. They really feel very well made and they are exceptionally comfortable. I'm also fishing with the Snowby fishing vest that has an integrated backpack. Let's get back to the fishing. What 
doing sitting on a rock and not fishing? Having lunch. It's a fish here. You really didn't think I was going to catch a fish there, did you? Um, I was like, I need to drift that big rab through there. So we caught them on this little snowby rod of ours. Exceptional little... Oh, it's a little... 